better overall. And I'm, I'm, you know, in terms of impact ultimates, Omega has impact ultimates at level five. And I'm, I do not think the next play have impact ultimates apart from the Lee Sin at level five. You've got Vi Lockdown, Evelyn Execute, Malphite Ultimate, Lux Ultimate, Ash Ultimate. Every single one of Omega's ultimates at level five are high impact. You group, you team fight with them for the first dragon, and I and I think you're kind of you're kind of laughing. What I've seen next play draft here as we get into game max is a one three one two strong split pushes, but it is a hard composition to execute on. Minions have spawned. It is, and I, I want to ask you a question, Xander, because I don't want to sound dumb and send something, and my entire point would fall apart. Um, would you go um, like is Camille AP or AD? Because that's that's one I, I do not play myself, so I have no idea. AD. I not take the pills. Oh, so they got a forward AD combo. You know what? Blitz crank. He goes snipe on the grab. First blood coming away. Next play, kind of give back their own medicine. But then we do have then Camille. She does go AD. Thank you very much, Xander, for that one. So my point is not completely useless. There's so much AD on the side of next play. That means that really you're looking on the on the Vi and the Olaf for the other side. They just can go super tanky. A lot of armor resist on their side, and then they're going to be good to go. They will survive fights for a really long period of time, allowing this Ash and also this Lux on the back line to remain somewhat substantial. But I, I think that here next play, by going with so much AD, not making things easy for them. And also, they're going to be super squishy. They do not have tanks. they got Blitzcrank to go for the engage, but he's not really known as a great frontliner. So uh, I'm scared, especially if this... Um, F with um, this Malphite, like, things are going to look really dire for them. If Arise is smart, he goes full armor this game. Like, skip the Leandries, I'll skip yeah. the AP. Oh my god, oh. they are. Oh, Jesus. What do you want to do? They try to get the hill, where they're losing potentially the Lee Sin. Lee Sin survived. Nice flash out last second from that Lux also, but. Okay, this is a wild game once again. Weird draft, weird games, and also you have the kill on the Fiora to die to the hands of the Malphite. Uh, things are looking short. They're still even. Oh, there you go. Lee Sin fighting gate on top of the Lux, and the fight comes on through once again. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to add on top of that. Uh, kills? Good. Me likey. Please give me more. <laughs> this is uh, absolutely crazy. This is an absolutely... Again? Like, mental early game. Like, <laughs> I mean, you, you are... If you wanted to play match point safe and just try and take it slow, we are not seeing that in this game. Holy moly. These guys are all over the place. This is crazy. I'd love to see the build that we're going to see Malphite go here. I really do want him to be going full armor. I, I think it is it is absolutely necessary this game because you will be unkillable if you go full armor um, in this comp. He has Bramble Vest. My boy. Yes. My boy is, is about to get ganked by a Romeo. <laughs> Uh, what are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. That is the answer. The grab is not available for Blitzcrank anymore. So that's going to be Vine making it out and Scave still taking quite a bit of damage. And during that time, they're going to be proxy farming down in the bottom side. They got Ash and this Lux keeping the wave under to make sure that they lose the minions and the uh, Kaiser's not going to get as much as you might expect. And this is what I like to see. You know, they did it earlier with the Singe composition. They're doing the uh, composition. They're doing it here once again. And the 9 is the easiest way to get ahead. But in the top side, another way to get ahead is not by doing farming, but just by farming the enemies. Like, literally, they're just picking up kill after kill. Five to three. They are currently in the lead once again. Next play, looking good. Way better than they've been, they've been so far in the last few games. Yeah, and then might even lose first turret of the game here. I think Vi is going to try and protect that turret. Should get there in time. Uh, it looks like they are maybe trading the bot side of the map though. Malphite roaming down. This is this is a mental game so far. I mean, I, I, Ash, what are you, buddy? Buddy! Stop! That. Stop the buff! <laughs> Yora pops the RT. She does get a little more feeling. That's good. Now down to the 2v2. Blitzcrank is going to be joining the fight a little bit too late, but that doesn't matter. They do lose the Kaiser still. 1v2, and she's getting some good significant damage. Can she find the frag? The good shot comes in time, but it's going to be done too late regardless. As Malphite now, a like, great grab coming on from the Blitzcrank. Under tower, baby. Let's go. You're out of the lobby. Go back to your base. Go back to the fountain. And now Drake is up in the next 30 seconds. What? I, I don't know what to say. It, it, this is uh, one game for sure, but... Uh, I don't know what to say either. This is just... <laughs> like, disaster is, uh, disaster is this roaming death squad of a Blitzcrank. It's absolutely insane. Like, both of these teams are just absolutely sprinting it. Oh, uh, my Evelyn. word. Uh, Evelyn? Evelyn? Uh, Evelyn? <laughs> Okay, she does use the last uh, caress in time, and she does make it alive. Wait, they saved the tower? They saved what? the tower, 26 <laughs> HP. Jesus, holy moly. What is this game? Uh, I don't know. I have no answer to that question, Excounder, unfortunately, but uh, Drake is going to be on the focus. Fiora and Evelyn going to be a little bit late on the encounter, though. We do see the Malphite here. 
does ha not have that ultimate available, so that's going to be something off the mark entirely. So, they because they do not have the Malphite ultimate, I think that is enough. Oh my god, the flash grab of the Blitzcrank! They do not find the flag, though. They lose a lot of time. Camille could have gone for the single out targets. There's one lot of damage. That's one frag coming their way. Blitzcrank out of commission. Greatly sent ultimate binds in time for the squad. Oh, the double the going to be caught out. Oh no, there you go. The nice CC coming out. And then maybe send the tides off the spike in favor of Omega Esports. Guys are going extremely low. She will be going out of the fight entirely. Lee Sin running away with his own life and scathed. But unfortunately, that fight was well engaged by NXP. But at the end, Omega Esport will take the dub. I mean, you, you you get that far behind. Okay, let's watch this back again. Okay, so they pull in. It looks like the Lux who flashes across the wall. Vi goes in, gets a really big knockup. This is huge. And she buys so much time whilst killing the Blitzcrank. In the meantime, Ash completely untouched. Evelyn completely untouched. The double binding into the Malphite ultimate is absolutely nutty. No one can kill the Malphite because they're a full AD comp. And they just chase them down with Ash on the back line, completely unscathed. We've got another team fight here. Oh my word, what is going on? Another fight coming on through by Shumilo. Same thing. Also, oh, there you go. Lee Sin, that's what he does best. Diving under the tower. Evelyn coming on through. Unfortunately, they're all pretty buffy and pretty healthy. So that last caress is not going to do anything, my friend. Lutz hits the nice ulti, but unfortunately, the damage is not going to be enough to find a frag. And this Drake is going to be uncontested. No one wants to go for it just yet. It would be a throw indeed. Oh, Evelyn is slowly going to be sneaking her way down. And no, you're okay. You find the tower, but are going to make it out alive as they're all towards the Drake. And I think that actually she will be able to survive it. And she can normally 1v1 this Evelyn right here. There's a little bit of initial damage coming on through, but unfortunately Evelyn knows that she can't afford to take that fight, especially if the ultimate comes out from Chelly. The Drake is going to be taken once again, brought on over initially by the Vi. Ash is coming around, but the lack of vision is going to make it hard for NXP to contest it. But now they're going to have the info. Lee Sin going to maybe try and steal it away. Going to get the info. Ready to dash on through to go for the smite. A little bit early. Great ultimate fight. Some great time as Camille joins the mix and does steal it away. Great stuff on NXP. The fight are drawing on through. The team joins on through. Also, Camille, great ultimate, picks up the fight. Now the fight continues. Malphite, unfortunately, this fight being extremely tanky, will be an extra casualty. The fight is coming on through. They're still up as a four-man team. Camille just roaring and moving around the map like an absolute insane ninja. But unfortunately, a little bit too far, taking some really big damage and will be able to make it out alive. But still, that fight was close. What a steal from the Lee Sin. <laughs> but the Malphite ult into Dragon! No, we don't, we don't talk don't about that, it. we leave it. <laughs> uh, okay, great kick, by the way. Absolutely beautiful kick. Set on the steal. Malphite ults the Dragon, I guess, to try and look to burst it, but he's not AP Malphite. He doesn't have the ult from the fight now. Obviously, he soaks a lot of damage on the front line. I mean, this is just a mess. This game is all over the place. I mean, I, look, I, I still think if Malphite continues to build tanky, he, they're going to be in a strong spot. I mean, Evelyn's gone for, 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 for Rabadon's death cap first. Absolutely no idea why. I mean, oh my God, Max, my brain hurts. I, I am struggling to, you know, like, see the fights are like, did you just do that? I'm like, I, I'm not sure if I can play by play that short, like, <laughs> for sure, but we get a shot anyways. But now, even though they're behind, they're actually trying to force the Herald and for the Fjord in the bottom side of the lane. But Vi, where are you? We need you, Vi. You're the jungler. Please join up on the fight. You need to do something, my friend. Now, Blitz Crank, ready to go once again. Disaster has been shown some great stuff. Gets ulted by the Ash and Iridae. That's going to be smited away by the Vi. They do get the Herald, but now can they win the fight? That is the question. Unfortunately, a little bit too deep for the Camille. She gets eliminated instantaneously. Same thing for the Fiora as she does get taken out. Unfortunately, their split pushers are out of commission entirely. Now, because they're, they're actually winning that fight, it's so back and forth. Now the fight is in their favor. They take the lead and they're still driving on through. Vi with the flash connects it. And Shelly, what are you doing, my boy? Fiora's out also. And they get the ace with two players remaining. <laughs> Max, this game is absolutely insane. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Like, it's just like a complete fist fight. It's like you took two teams who were absolutely done with life and just thrown them in the pit together and just like, said, okay, look, fight until someone just falls on the floor. And that's what happens every single time. I mean, look, I, I, I do genuinely believe this. Even though Omega are behind, their team fight composition is better. And you're seeing it. They were. They were thousands of gold behind. They are still behind in gold and they are winning team fights because A, they have the Malphite who's full armor into a full AD comp so you can win at Shopkeeper. This is like a thank you Boris moment. Um, so, you know, that's that's a win at Shopkeeper for, yeah. for the Malphite. Um, secondly, you have two like categorically uh, built split pushes in the form of Fiora and, and, and Camille. And I've seen very minimal levels of split pushing. In fact, they are determined to run this down in a 5v5 team fight so far. So, so um, I just don't think next player kind of playing to their win conditions. They're, they're playing into the Malphite who has gone full armor 
a game oh. steal composition that is full AD. Fight's gonna be wrong on through. Maybe he's able to find a fight with the kill onto the Evelyn. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to do so. Malphite's not there, and that's the entire engage potential that they're losing. And because Malphite's not mm -hmm. there, that fight is gonna be a big L for Mega Esport taking that dub. Unfortunately, they're not going their way. It's gonna be next plate taking the dub here in the least. Malphite joins the party a little bit late, but Baron is up in 30 seconds, and, and another fight happened that really should not have happened in the first place for the side of Omega Esports. This is absolutely crazy. Um Look, we couldn't ask for a more action-packed potential final game. Like, this is a match point game for uh, a championship point game for Omega, right? If they win this, they win the tournament. Um, so you couldn't ask for a more insane game for Omega if they wanted to go out swinging and go out with a bang. And this is absolutely the case. But the same with the uh, the same with uh, with Next Play. You know, they are absolutely fighting tooth and nail to keep themselves in this competition. My word, I, 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 when, when are we going to get some downtime, guys? And not now, though, because the dragon is spawning, so we're definitely not getting downtime right now. If it was possible for casters to FF, I would have FF'd already this game and left the lobby, but you know what? we got some great games happening regardless. The Drake is indeed going to be up on the map. Blitzcrank, man, I gotta say though, disaster, even though Blitzcrank has not played that heavily in competitive, which is why this type of format of tournament is so fun, you see unusual picks, the disaster has been creating so many strong engages, and the moment he gets a great ultimate, you got the Camille that comes in from behind, picks up a great Hextech ultimatum to single out that one target, make sure they can't peel away, even if it is the Evelyn that can't do, use that last caress to peel out from that fight, she can't, she tried early in the mid lane, but she died because of that. Overall, the combo of Camille and Blitzcrank together, they're playing it not perfectly, but they're playing it extremely well. Yeah, and also uh, it's interesting to see the gold distribution across the teams right now. I mean, Kaiser is, is pretty significantly ahead of the Ash, who's gone for a... Ash has gone for a really interesting build, by the way. Ash has gone for a Black Cleaver Ash build. Um, oh, the Ash ultimate comes through. Oh, you get it smited away by the least, and now because of that, the flash is not going to happen, my friend. That is why Camille is so strong when it comes to single out targets. Not by the rate engage. Great ultimate on top. Paired up with the Lux ultimate. They get melted one by one. And here is it. Maybe the turnaround fight. And make Esport looking in a really strong spot. Nice route. Still, they got himself the uh, nice uh, golden. Wait, he's in, but no, he's in. Does not make it out. Shelly now trying to make his way out of that fight entirely. Will be able to just dash away to safety. But that is a once again a fight that you thought will be coming away of NXP. But make Esport crap it back. This is comeback after comeback after comeback. And NXP, if they win this, we go into another game. It is a BO7 after all, but they really don't want to let this end here. No, but you can see, like, Arise is taking zero damage on this Malphite. Like, he is literally sitting there, face tanking the majority of the next play team. Next play, you need to start prioritizing Last Whisper. Like, just get some Last Whispers on your team ASAP. And Last Whisper on the Camille. Um, and get one on the, on, on absolutely get one on, on the, the, um, the, the Kaiser as soon as possible. This guy has already got so much armor and he's just going to start building more too. He's going for, I think he's going for a Warmogs next. So he's going to look to capitalize on his effective HP by building a massive amount of HP to work with alongside already having picked up the, um, the Thormail and the Sunfire Cape. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested in this Ash build though. Like I'm trying to work out what he's going. He looks like he's maybe going like a ghost blade now. So it's like Black Cleaver Ghost Blade Ash, which is just not something that I've seen a huge amount of. I'm also working like working out like who he's facilitating this Black Cleaver for. Because often you build Black Cleaver because the armor stack um applies to the enemy rather than applying to your own attacks so when you yeah. stack up black cleaver stacks it reduces the ar enemy's armor for everyone so you'll see like often facilitating top laners go black cleaver like a darius when you've got a really strong ad carry on your team because it, it reduces the armor of the target that you're focusing that so your ad carry will end up dealing more damage as well because again it's, it's, it's reduction to the enemy's armor rather than reduction to your piercing attacks so I'm just trying to wonder like who he's doing the Black Cleaver for. They don't actually have that much AD damage. There is an Evelyn, a Lux, and then you have uh, an, a Malphite who deals primarily AP damage, and then you have a Vi who, who deals AD damage. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. There's a catch on to Blitzcrank. Yep, he's going to be just getting CC'd up and can't do much. Unfortunately, Blitzcrank, as I said it earlier, he's not really a tank kind of support. He's there to create some good opportunities and engages, but he's going to get melted in to smithereens. Then the bottom side of the map is going to have a 1v1. Fiora taking that fight versus the Evelyn. Going to use that ultimate to try and get some nice healers she can, but unfortunately can't do so. Man, you got the last... Oh, the last crush would be good, but... Oh, 
of the kick comes on through. Could have been a frag potentially on Trillo if you played it correctly, but unfortunately didn't have time to respond, and that is going to be an extra frag coming on through. A nice trade between the two teams. Oh, the ultimate of Lux barely hits her and will not be able to get that damage, unfortunately. But still, an even trade between these two teams. And the goal leader was already initially so high for NXP has now been reduced to just a mere 3,000, which at this stage of the game is nothing. Yeah, 3,000 gold is not a lot, as you correctly mentioned. Uh, also, look at the Vi's build. Deadman's Plate and Randwin's Omen. Armor galore being built up by uh, by uh, Vi at this point in time. So you can see that they are they are massively, massively playing into the full AD comp that they're playing into right now. And again, another team fight is on the horizon. We have a, a dragon spawning within the next 30 seconds. And I, and I do still believe that Omega have the stronger team fight composition when executed properly. As long as the mouth fight is there at the beginning of the team fight, although we have one opening up already. Oh, that kick on the vibe was pretty well played, but she's way too tanky. She's going for full tank item almost. But here you go. Once again, Camille going to get the nice XX ultimatum on the vibe. But she's able to escape this time around. The split crank in the front line is going to have to flash away to safety. While Fury just split pushing. You want to steal this fight from Leeson. He doesn't give a damn. He's going to go for the engage without the kick. And he's going to proc the GA. Unfortunately, that should be an easy kill too. Kaisa in a very similar position as Leeson tries to flash to safety. They are stalling so much, but they just barely making it out alive. And as I said, that they might actually lose. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, no. That's a trade between the Vite and the Kaisa. As Blitzcrank is trying to make it back, but during that time, she's hammering down the Nexus. The, the Nexus, sorry, not the Nexus, the base, the inner tower is going to be dropping down. The tree's able to find it and maybe trying to look for 1v1 versus Deluxe under the Nexus. And man, they, they tried to stall it, but unfortunately lost some players, but were able to make it a trade. Now, that was a really good play from Next Play. This is using the composition the way that you, you should be using the composition. Yeah. Um, you know, you're using the Fiora. I've just noticed, by the way, and actually big thanks to, to one of my friends for pointing this out to me. This is Font of Life Ash. Um, maybe this is actually Support Ash. I've just realized it's Tame Lapse playing Lux. My she God. Got 17 I, assists. I was, <laughs> I, I, I was, I'm so used to seeing obviously Ash being the AD carry. I didn't even really think about this. This is Ash. This is support Ash. They're running carry Lux. Lux has clearly been getting the majority of the, the gold in this game. And Ash has actually just been playing full support. She's gone for a full support build with, with Lux being the primary AP carry here. That is super interesting. I, I, I wasn't, it literally didn't even register because I'm just so used to seeing Lux in the support role. Um, but it's actually Tame Lapse playing AP Lux as the primary carry. Long range engage comes Ooh. through. Oh, my. oh that, bit, that, that really scared me. I had to clench my butt cheeks for a second there. That was for sure. But still, unfortunately, I've been able to make it out. And that ultimate misses out. The last caress will not be working out. And now they're losing their main damage dealer. One of their main damage dealers as they pick also the buy. And Malphite was just not given the opportunity to create a good engage for the team. And now, Baron is available, which seems like that will be the play. And Disaster just waiting on the front line, waiting to hear a grab on an unwilling target. The Ash is going to be on the front line. You've got to be careful. Can he go for it? He knows exactly who he's focusing. And this Ash is gone. Back to the fountain you go. Luck in a similar fashion. The Zony's going to buy you just a few mere seconds. And that will be the end of the fight. Next play. They don't even care about the Baron the Mouth fight. Who is this? The wave is pushing in the bottom side. And Nexon is crumbling to pieces. And that is indeed how the cookie crumbles. Ladies and gentlemen, game is going to be going in favor of none other than next play. And we might be indeed seeing a game number seven. Oh, my word, next play.